Thank you. I saw your mom and your brother. Oh, really? So we'll see. I just got one of your old ones. that are on the back of your bulletin here. Um, some are here on the back and some are also a little extra portion. Well, let's start on the back with a few things. Uh, music committee meeting on February 27th. That's a Thursday at 6. That's right before our normal music um, uh, rehearsals. Uh, so music committee members, please make note of that. Uh, the 29th uh, is the next Wells High School Music Boosters Turkey Dinner and that's over at St. Mary's. March 1st, um, after worship, we're going to have a business meeting. We want to have a discussion about our live stream and tell you how it's going. And also, uh, we have a few proposals we'd like to make about what to do with it. March 12th, uh, when we <laughs> lunch, you can see that announcement. March 21st, is the second turkey dinner, and then the mission board will meet on the 24th. So that's what's coming up. As for things that are happening this week, that's here on this little extra portion. Let's take a peek at that. After worship today, as we always do, there will be a time of fellowship. We hope you can stay. 
and join us for some refreshments downstairs in the fellowship hall. That's right after worship. Then at 11, our adult class will continue. Uh, we are, of course, continuing with the story, uh, making our way through the Bible using the materials from the story. And uh, we are up to chapter 19. We'll be talking about Israel's return to Jerusalem and the rebuilding of the temple today. So we'll be preaching about that. And we'll also be talking about it during our adult class at 11 in the parlor. <coughs> Tuesday, the directors will meet at 5.30. Wednesday um, is the deadline for the beacon, our newsletter. If you have something you'd like to have in our March beacon, we need it by Wednesday at noon for publication. 12.30, we will have staff meeting, but there is, of course, no kids around the team or news group this week because it's school vacation. Thursday, the men's fellowship lunch will be at Billy's Chatterhouse, and we will just meet there. And then our music rehearsal is at 6.30, okay? Please take a, uh, please do take a moment and read this announcement from the mission board about collecting for uh, personal protective equipment in the fight against coronavirus in China. You can uh, put an offering in the plate any time for that. And the details are there. All right, are there any other announcements we need to make this morning? Then I'd like to invite you to stand and greet one another in the name of Jesus, our Savior. <laughs> Thanks, how are you? Good, thanks. Good. Good job, sweetie pie.
morning, asking him to open the eyes of our hearts, that we might see him, that we might encounter him, O oh Lord. Pour out your spirit on us, we pray, as we worship you this morning. Lord, help us, we pray. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior, who, when he was on the earth, taught us to pray by saying, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Please be seated. share with you our latest letter from the Clemmers, and Anne is usually the one that writes, but this one is from Bill, and I thought um, it, was, it was very informative. So I'm going to read part of it, and afterwards I've got a couple copies, I'll put them down on the bulletin board. Please feel free to take it down and take it to coffee and read it and throw it back up when you're, when you're done. As we enter our 29th year of overseas service with international ministries, we only need to look at our past to know that he will walk with us tomorrow. I think back on our commissioning service in the summer of 1992 with three young children and a fourth on the way. Never could we have imagined on that memorable day the number of countries that God would send us to the unique challenges and opportunities along the way, and the daily evidence of his abiding presence. I've gotten used to the fact that I don't know today what God will ask of us tomorrow, but I do know it will have a purpose and it will be part of his plan. Very little of what they taught in medical school, internship, residency, or even an MPH program would prepare me for the ever-changing roles I have taken on during these past years as a doctor in Africa. 
rounding on patients two to a bed, preparing lessons for med students and nurses in a language not of my own, tracking down the origin of an unknown disease, fighting Ebola in a remote corner of the Congo, setting up emergency clinics in refugee camps in South Sudan, restructuring a clinic in the mountains of Burundi, or clearing a container of medical supplies across the Kenyan border. Only a surrender of my will and trust in his call would prepare us for the task at hand. Yes, there are bum bumps along the way, evacuating our home in Haiti with an infant and three children never to return, two more evacuations in Congo during prolonged civil wars, scattering our family across three countries, riots in the street, gunfire at night, an active volcano behind our house, and a methane in bed in Butte Lake in front, calls for medical assistance over HF radio, suturing lacerations on our back porch, a spinal tap on the kitchen table, a snake in our bedroom, a band of rebel soldiers at our door, and now a seemingly never-ending outbreak of Ebola with thousands of casualties. These are some of the memories that have tested our faith. His mercies, however, are present every morning, and we know the one who holds our future days. There's more, so please take your time and read it. Thank you, Pam. We give thanks for our missionaries that we support, who uh, work so tirelessly and give so much of themselves to the Lord's work. So as we give this morning, may we keep them in mind. Now I would like to invite our ushers to come forward. <laughs> 